Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. I'm Zach. Back here with Peacemaker Season 1, Episode 2. That was a hell of a first episode. <coughs> Bless you. Yes, it was. Yeah. I liked it a lot. And yeah. I hope for more great things from the show. And more great rubber. I hope it at least stays in the level and doesn't like dip into yeah. we want to absolutely redeem this character and not like we just want to have fun and enjoy a show. Yeah. So. I'm, fu I'm fu Just like the movie, I'm fun with this, like, this kind of... I don't want to say you turn your brain off, because I don't believe Suicide Squad does that. But just a great popcorn, blockbustery, bubblegum, fun bubblegum flick. <laughs> bubblegum, I love that. That's how I feel about Marvel films. Like yeah. I, I do enjoy them. Yeah. But they are bubblegum films. Yeah. They are films that you chew up and enjoy and enjoy the sweetness. Yeah. And the experiment. Like it's <laughs> not something that you sit at home and contemplate and think about the depth of them because there's not. It's already, there are mostly all established characters. Yeah. Established stories. <clears throat> they may have tweaked the people that have already been involved in Marvel Comics and Marvel characters. Mm -hmm. can sit back and say, Jesus fucking Christ, why didn't you do this with this character? Why didn't you do that? It's their baby. Yeah. I'll admit that. So hands off to them. Mm -hmm. It's theirs. But to me, the cinema is bubblegum flick because it's not like, um, I don't know, Gangs of New York or... Yeah, they're not. They're not okay. trying to be that. They're just trying to be. I know that. This it's a bubblegum. Yeah, we talked at length about this uh, in our post review last time, so we're gonna go ahead and jump in now. Dumb shit. I have names like that in my phone. What? I hooked up with a chick, and I'm not saying that to make you jealous. I'm saying it because she was a mad human freak that threw me around the room like an angry kid with his little sister's cabbage patch doll. Oh fuck! Where is she now? I'm on my way. Can you give me the address? I can track you through the chip in your head. Wait, you can't see me jerk off right there, can you? It's inside of your fucking skull. How could we? I don't know. Technology's a beast. Hey, Hardcore, you want to see me run one out? Well, you gotta just ask. Focus, pervert. Get your shit and get out of there. All right, I'll meet you outside somehow. Eagly. That eagle better not, better not die. Peacemaker just killed a damn butterfly. Do you really wanna, do you really wanna taste that? Oh, Percentro! <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck you, you one, mate. <laughs> That's racist. Fuck my socks! Do you think they're safe? Are they big guys? No, they're pretty small, but one of them, Emerson, he likes to wear these little outfits. Do you think that's gonna make him a bigger target? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hit that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that funny? <laughs> what the possum. hell? The report said an explosion. How'd the possum stay intact? Oh, yeah, I the eagle had cape shit. We've got enough trouble with that maniac vigilante running around. That guy. The guy's from um, the goddamn Archie Comics movie show version. What's the town they're from? Archie. That's the name of the comic. What's the name of the show? Riverdale? Yes! Put that down. Why? Because I think it's a face. A what? A face. A human face. Did you move any fucking slime? Trying to be sneaky. Dude, I love that girl. So like, why? The man's been in prison for four years. There's not much I believe he wouldn't fuck. A bowl of oatmeal. Grapefruit, some yogurt. I'm hungry. Do you pet the dog when he looks cute in these clothes? I guess. He doesn't want to wear the clothes. He's just willing to humiliate himself for your love. I think he just likes looking smart. <laughs> Where the fuck is he? Emerson? He's at home. Not the fucking dog. Peacemaker. Tell me <laughs> Is that a cat? Super neat. Yeah, I've seen cookies in my future. <laughs> like hieroglyphics. Yeah. Hardcore, just do me a solid. Just roll down the window, stick your hand outside, and then crinkle a bag. You'll think you have chips. He'll come right out to you. Why are you feeding him chips? Is that somebody in the window up there? <laughs> oh, God, dude. I love how ridiculous he looks in an outfit. I know. Going on 
catch a bad guy. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Come on, dude. Hey, stop right there! Hey, man, what's up? Uh, Freddy there? Freddy who? I broke in, call the cops. You call the cops. Baby has a knife on me. You're helping him. Hey, hey, shh, shh, both of you. Sir. Yeah, no problem. He's obviously a professional. Look how he's dressed, Amber. Okay. Unfortunately, I have to tell you. Okay. Okay, listen, I just, I just want to talk to you straight. We're like one human being to another. I will die of claustrophobia. Tied up, so. Yeah. Sure. Oh, fuck. Shit, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I used to really love Cinderella. Yeah, Tom Kiefer and the boys are like the perfect mix of blues and metal. Fuck yeah. 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 I appreciate that. <laughs> Doesn't hurt too much, does it? No, not at all. <laughs> PJ. Really? Yeah. Evan says it makes me look fat. You have better PJs. That's all I ever said. Let's see how that can be. Jeez, dude. What? Are you seriously trying to get in the fuck you right now? What? No, oh. I just said it was nice, goddammit, and we also seem to have a lot in common. Like what? Uh, we both love Cinderella. It's seven years. Not once have you mentioned Cinderella! Well, I talk about Cinderella at least once a week, Evan! You just never fucking hear me because you're always going on about cool play and fuss with the fucking people! Oh, you're gonna put down my musical taste now? How fucking low are you? Pop, you are murdering my spirit! Oh yeah, I think my spirit feels like you're trying to fuck this really cool, handsome guy right in front of me! I am not! Fuck that, but you know what, Evan? Oh my god, maybe I will! You know what's gonna fucking happen! Right? Why do you hang and swing or drop, dude? In a hurry. He hasn't seen Cradle to the Grave with Jackie Chan. Remember that? I know, but... Wow. Also, it's probably for effect. Yeah. I'm still with weapons in combat. Cool your jets, Jason Horn. Just be ready to take off when we get back to the car. Being a wheelman is also dope! I think those records are going to survive every fall. Like Oh, shit. Step forward and into the light. They're shooting the shit out of that car, man. Back there. Yeah, I'm straight an eagle, dude. Not without stealing its soul. <laughs> August Ransom Smith? Yeah. What? I was wondering if you would mind answering a few questions for us. Yeah, I mind more from you than him. Why more from me? Let's just say that uh Egg Fu Young ain't my thing, baby. Walking scrotum here doesn't like Egg Fu Young. Is that a threat? No, I don't threat, I just do. Now get the fuck off my property. Maybe you can tell us why a 1976 Ford Comet registered in your name was left at the wildest. Why would they do that? Because it was just more closely connected yeah, to Peacemaker. Arrest me or get the fuck out of here, chopsticks. Yeah, well, we'll be seeing you, Fork. Fork. Fork? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the world uses spoons. Yeah, but that asshole doesn't know that. That's true. <laughs> spoon would have been more demeaning. Yeah. Makes it like a baby thing. You know, little babies use spoon. Adults also use spoon? You could have chosen anyone, and you put the car registration in the name of Peacemaker's father? Yeah. I had to act fast. You were in the bathroom. I didn't know if you were going one or two. Was I supposed to text you when I'm taking a shit? I would have appreciated I'm it. not going to text you when I'm taking a shit, John. And now I feel like you're angry at me. No, no, I'm not angry at you, John. But I am starting to think you're an idiot. Yeah, it's really stupid. Come on, man. Okay, Todd Beard. Hey, guess what? I'm done. I'm not gonna do this if you keep calling me that name. What name? That 
fake name. You said fake news? No, I'm saying you're a fucking asshole. I'd rather be with Harley Quinn than you. I'd, I'd rather be with fucking Batmite than you. Who's Batmite? The two foot tall interdimensional imp who stands Batman. You're the one who brought the butterflies to our attention, so it can't be you. And it's not me. I just put my ass on the line to save Muscle Man Weekly. And it's not Muscle Man Weekly because he's the one who almost got killed. So if it's not Waller and it's not us, maybe it's her. Me? Does anyone here know how she ended up on this mission? What are your actual qualifications? And how do I know that you're not one of them? It's obviously, uh, <clears throat> Elmo. Economist. Fuck you. Why do all of you have such weird last names? John didn't do it. Thank you. It's too big of a pussy to betray us. All right. <laughs> I don't even like when my balls are in somebody's mouth, okay? It gives me the wrong type of chills. And all I can think about is how long it's been since I've gotten checked for testicular cancer. Too long. You are so fucked up, it's adorable. <laughs> don't call me that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't the fate of the country depends on this mission. And nobody told me that. Nobody's even told me what a fucking butterfly is. It's true. Yeah, but, argument. Well, why would she have superpowers all of a sudden? Yes. Yeah. You don't think that chick left any monster STDs on my dick, do you? <laughs> Please. You know, I'm a dick vampire. No, you're not a dick vampire. You're just a dick. Told you! Fucking stalker! Dude, You're right. What, you, what are you doing? Are you looking at me and jerking off right now as your dick out? <laughs> what? No, no, man. Look. I'm not gonna fucking look. It's the oldest trick in the book. I look and you fucking rock hard. You throw jizz in my face. No fucking way. <laughs> what? No, dude. My dick is not out. Is that what you get off on? Me seeing your fucking dick? No. Who the fuck said that? Louis C.K. piece of shit. <laughs> Louis C.K. said that? Oh. I'm exercising the muscles in my face, making my face. More muscular under your mask. Your face is skinny as shit. You don't do these exercises for your face. Can you maybe teach them to me? Yes. <laughs> Are you trying to fucking bribe us? No. Oh, I was hoping you were trying to bribe us. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to bribe you. Hmm. <laughs> hey! Holy shit, look at that! It's a funny smiley man! Hey! Do you want to come over and play? <laughs> Man, that's adorable. Hey, how'd you get out, anyway? <laughs> I work for the government, okay? Post office? You think they'd fucking let me out of prison and deliver mail? I don't know. It was the first government job I could think of. I used to think God put me in for a purpose. For peace. <laughs> now I said I didn't care how many people I needed to torture or kill to get. When I find out someone murdered an innocent person, or sold somebody heroin, or did some graffiti, and I killed that person. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you say we celebrate you getting out of prison? No, I have to study the dossier of the center I gotta kill. I've been saving up appliances Dude. ever since you were arrested. And that's you gotta shoot appliances. <laughs> so a complete make fun of redneck episode. Okay. Single action armies. Juicer. sir. Jumping away from explosions. Fuck you. <laughs> so fuck yourself, old man. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you put your dogs in those goddamn outfits? Ever. <laughs> well, she got nice nipples. I can't believe they realized that shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh hail! The white dragon. Is there a Klansman? That guy's not hailing. Is that bald guy back there? I didn't see He's it. not fucking hailing. What'd you think? Uh I loved it. I thought it was great. Just like the first episode. Uh I wasn't as weirded out in this one as I was in terms of the awkwardness. I wasn't either because they didn't make it seem. I mean, you had the the racist shit at the end, like you had the racist shit with his dad in the first episode. Yeah. It wasn't as 
I guess cringy in this ep- in this episode. It wasn't the last one. Yeah, like, I, they just like, them laughing at the dinner table. That was really weird. It was just really weird in the setting. And when he said, "When I was in your pussy earlier," I was, you know, I, just, I don't know, maybe cringe. Yeah, I know, but in this ep- like I would, I imagine there are clans in jail. Whether you're in the white clan or the black clan, you're in a clan. Or the Filipino clan. Was there a Filipino clan? No, I don't think so. No, I don't right think here. so. The Hispanics. Yeah, I mean, I might fall. Blacks, with, I might fall. Whites. I might fall in with Spanish people, maybe. I guess they just take you. But I'm Asian. Ah, you're, you're good enough. But there's Asians too, and I'm like a mixture, so I don't know. You, you can pick whichever one you want. Ah, you're the running man. Most people, <laughs> as I, I got, have no choice. Yeah, I, I guess I'm in the white clan. <laughs> as I've gotten older, people have mistaken me much more for being like Mexican or Hispanic. Because most people then have Asian. When I was a little kid. I looked more Asian. People always said, "Hey, are you Chinese?" I, no, you know, fucking Chinese. Yeah, so. Probably because your eyes. Yeah, they've gotten wider. My face gotten, yeah, yeah I just look more. Boy got battered. More, more muscular. <laughs> like I'm doing a facial. Muscular doing a facial exercises. You that. motherfucker! You're eating lemon cake in your father's My basement. dad. <laughs> <laughs> My dad made it. You son of a bitch! There no. ain't no facial exercises. <laughs> um, no, I, 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 I like this one. I, I like Leota's character. I kind of thought. She needed to tone it down a little bit because she does seem pretty unprofessional. More like in this episode, one. She's life. been put there though, so I accept yeah. that because her mother's put that in that put her in that position, and she's in a position where she can't say, "Hey, it's my mom." Her, her mother's smart. Like, why would if she thought because her daughter? Her mom probably wants her daughter to follow in her footsteps, and she's kind of she, pressing the situation. She just seems underqualified mentally a little bit. Like her attitude. Professionally. Yeah. I wouldn't say mentally, but professionally. Yeah, yeah, like, you know. Like she's like, she's a woman that doesn't, she's a woman that doesn't have the temperament for yeah. the job. It's like Maybe she, the she, mental aspects are there, but the temperament is not there. Yeah, and she wants some shooting, because she was good at She, she wants was, a normal life. Yeah. For her fiancé, girlfriend, yeah. whatever it is going on there. I don't know what level it is. Yeah. And her fur babies, which I think is retarded. I think fur babies are retarded. I thought fur babies are fur like children chicks with like fur babies with like the tail. Those are furries. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I've been educated on that a couple years ago. Furry is like people who whack off to like chicks with like fucking furry tails and they little ears. Talking about the dogs. Yeah, I, I know that now. <laughs> yeah, but the dogs. I, I've seen like dogs with like, like winter dogs. outfits, like you know. Those like, motherfuckers have fur. Why not? I'm mean, not dragging in the like raccoons. A chihuahua. I'm a not dragging in the raccoons and the mountain lions yeah. and the possums. I'm not dragging all those motherfuckers in because they I think they need some clothes on. Okay, yeah. those fuckers have fur. They have evolutionary. The ev- evolution has provided them with a coat. No, you're right, but like some dogs. Us, yeah. us assholes. I guess we didn't. We lost our monkey fur. Yep. For some reason, which is retarded. That's- like what? At what point did a monkey decide he need to put leaves on to stay warmer, and he lost his fur? I mean, what an asshole! If the migration theory is we went out of Africa, uh, you know, I've, in that, you know, we would have had to have lost it while being in Africa, because we evolved. Uh, God damn, fucking. Yeah, I don't know if I believe that, but yeah. decided that oh, we're better than these guys, and like lost because his fur. There's, there's probably wasn't that. Adva- yeah, because we were probably in a climate where it wasn't. Adva- we had to be like the weaker sort than the gorillas. Yeah, it probably just so wasn't. We couldn't beat the gorillas. Th- yeah, but we're smarter than the orangutans. Yes. So we just like fuck this. We're leaving. We got out <laughs> and we made some goddamn Damascus swords, and now we own all of them. After much later, but yeah. So, but I know, but we played the long game, Shane. We did. It was the plan- long. We've been game. planning it, and now we're fighting over each other. Yeah, we are. It's retarded. It is. Like we beat the other goddamn the gorillas and the chimps, we, we and now we're fighting over each other. We beat out Neanderthals as well. I know. It's a point. Like, what, yeah. Why? Like, you yeah, just keep fighting. I guess it's just in our DNA. Hardcore, I liked her more in this episode because I thought she was doing everything she needed to do for the mission. I think I think she's a professional. But, you know, because I like Leota, I, I, I'm on Leota's side, but I think Leota was a little out of, just a little out of line in terms of her professionalism. But I wouldn't be like that to her. Because I'm just not like that type of person in general. Well, Hardcore definitely seemed like more of a bitch in this episode. Yeah. But... I need that for work. Yeah. That's well, a good thing you got your cigarette ash right here. <laughs> but, like, if one of those things, if, she, if she's good looking and she's a woman, it might have been hard for her to get to that position. So she had to be a 
Like, she had to have that type of attitude. It's probably easier for you to forgive her attitude when she is a good-looking woman. No, I I really like Leota more. I really do. I'm sorry, but Uh, you haven't made that case from the beginning now, have you? I I did say it in the beginning, and I prefaced this whole... You're like a hardcore, I like a hardcore more? You're like, uh, you know... No, I did not. (laughs) We'll check the tape. (laughs) But, uh, no, I got... And I even liked uh, the beard guy a little more. Because he's fun. He's a fun tool. I don't like that guy. I don't like him at all. You gotta have a tool, though. I don't like tools. I just can't stand them. I'd rather have no, I'd rather not have one. Oh, I like I like Jerry. I like him. I don't. I don't like tools. If you didn't have a tool, then they'd just be. They, they would find a tool. They would just make fun of someone else, and that guy become the tool. You're right. Yeah. But if he's peacemaker, I don't want that. It's just. Uh, Even though he's kind of a tool too. He's very much a tool, but he's like a, an extravagant. But tool. But he's how I define a tool. He's he's an extravagant tool. I meant heel. He's like the heel. That's what I meant. I guess right. Yeah. But most people in like wrestling, for instance, yeah. when you reference the heel, it's not someone you make fun of. He's just the asshole you don't like. Yeah, but I feel like but that's, the supposed, heel, that's supposed well, to be... Like, if you're talking about a tool, a tool is definitely the Jerry, Rick and Morty. But he's he's just, definitely yeah. like the fucking guy that's just a douchebag. He's definitely a douche. He is a douche. I think he's Peacemaker's cool, more of he's a... He's like a, a, such an extravagant level of douche to me. I think he's more of a tool than a douche. Because douches, I hate douches. So John, he did do something stupid, though. I mean, I know plot-wise why it's interesting that that guy's in jail, but like, it is a stupid thing to it tie. Brings it too close to home. Exactly. Like you want him, you want him far from home. You You're want to get, to get him on your side. Yeah, which it's is so what the he, one guy said. Yeah. Mister Mern, uh, is that what his name is? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever, Mister Mern, the really intimidating black guy. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're obviously going to have a good story for it, and they pointed out that it is stupid. So it's not a plot hole. That guy's just stupid. And it was meant to be stupid. Yeah. yeah. Um, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I liked this episode a yeah. lot. I I think all the avenues are there for a great series. Yeah. And they're obviously setting it up to very, very much cause a, a fucking rift between his dad's racial beliefs and what Peacemaker can be in the future. Yeah. Like they're trying to develop a Peacemaker that can take part in the DC Universe in the future. Compared to the peacemaker of the past in the comics. Yeah, his dad. So, if his dad was a peacemaker and he was, one time was a white dragon, who I know was like a racist hero, mm. uh, then uh, yeah. But what, what I want to ask you, looting. I, when he was getting all the the discs and the CDs, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> that's something else. Yeah. I I don't really care for looting myself. And so I'll tell you what, if I ever get in a coma, to put all my stuff in storage. I guess. Yeah, this is <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's yours. I guess no. you mean your your wife would know. I don't know. It's like I just show up at your house one day. It's like, I, Joey, I gotta put all this, this in storage. That's David. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, all this, all this has gotta go. Yeah. Um, Smoking a cigarette. Also, I like the part when he's in an apartment and the two couples, the, the the couple where they were bickering. Fuck. Yeah, because she was into him, and then later on she was, she was in bed with her and vigilante. Yeah. She had nice, like nice nipples. She did. No, I, I this is a great one, guys. I uh, can't wait. To, these, these, the first three came out all once. I, I know episode five has come out, so I might try to edit these as quick as I can, and maybe we can try to catch up. And there's no promises on that. Let's get drunk. Well, guys, we're out of here. Guys, thank you so much for watching our reaction and our review. If you like us and you want to support us, just like and subscribe. Click that notification. Leave a comment down below. It really helps the algorithm. Tell us what you think of the show, Peacemaker, the characters, uh, any theories, let us know, but no spoilers for us.